So in the short term, there isn't a, a huge amount you can do to suddenly magic um, doubling your production. I mean, there are challenges with um, bringing on staff, training staff. There's a huge challenge with supply chain because the entire industry can't make enough bikes. So you can imagine the suppliers to the likes of us, larger companies like Giant and Trek are absolutely flat out. And similarly, they can't suddenly magic their um, capability overnight. So what, what we as an industry need to be doing, and in particular us in the UK, is setting a strategy to try and build the business over the next 12 months, three years, five years, we have something of a an advantage that we spent the last 40 years designing bikes specifically for cities. The industry as a whole has been based on recreation, people bouncing down mountains, whizzing off um, at the weekend um, to go riding on the roads. But we are very, very much focused on having something that's useful in a city. You can fold it up, put it on the train, you know, take it into your flat. So, there is huge opportunity for us. And this isn't just about transport. It's about the fact that we have global warming coming. We need to reduce our carbon, listening uh, to what you were just saying just now. Um, and also, we've got health problems with you know, mental health and obesity in our cities going off the scale. So this isn't just a little fad. This is something that cities, mayors, governments are recognizing and investing in infrastructure to try and promote. Um, William, can I ask you, what, to what extent does the, um, the bike sharing programs of various companies, what, what does that mean in terms of limited sales for you in cities specifically? Because uh, London, like many other cities, is strewn with abandoned bicycles that you can rent relatively cheaply for short uh, rides. Is that impacting your sales? Yeah, I mean... There is an element of potential cannibalization, but actually more broadly, I think it's it's a net positive. I mean, in the UK, we've got 4% of people maybe rising to five at the moment cycling. It's still tiny. There is plenty of room to bring in innovation to enable people to get back on a bike. Most of us learned how to ride a bike because our parents were running behind us furiously, um, proving that they were good parents, that we could ride a bike. And then that was the last we saw of it. But we know how to ride a bike and we need means and mechanisms to get people back on a bike with pretty low barriers to entry. And those bikes are doing a job. They're pretty ropey. They're pretty heavy. Um, but if you get back on one and have fun and realize that your city is rather more glorious than you thought, you may then decide that actually I'm going to take this a step further and buy one. So there is, whilst there may be some cannibalization, I think that's a net benefit.